Hello guys, once again, uh, I am Soccer Devil, and first and foremost, this is my second video, uh, and I would like to thank my very first subscriber, India, thank you very much for, for being my first subscriber. Peace. Um, <laughs> but, as promised, uh, the second video is about uh, the Confederations Cup 2013 Brazil. And I'm going to call it soccer. Uh, I know you guys, some of you guys might get a bit pissed for me calling it that. Football. I understand. I mean, I, I'm Mexican. I know football, you know. But just because I'm more used to it, I'll call it soccer. And uh, I'm just going to give you an overview of, in case you didn't know, the Confederations Cup is... Uh, kind of a strange cup. It it's varied a lot over the years. Um, for the past two, I get now three World Cups. It's been played um, the year before the World Cup, and it serves as kind of a warm up for the top teams in the world. It's sort of a mini World Cup ish, you could call it. Uh, it's very interesting. It's not. It hasn't been going on for too long, since 1992, when Argentina won it. And, uh, not many winners of this cup. Argentina, then Denmark, 95, Brazil, 97, Mexico, 99, and then France, 2001. Up to that point, five different, yeah, five different, uh, champions in five different cups, which it didn't even happen in the World Cup. And then France wins it again in 03, Brazil in 05, and again in 09. Um, with an outstanding performance by the U.S. They won't be in this one this year. Uh, but it is, uh, France has two, uh, Bra uh, Fran uh, Brazil has three, and Mexico, Denmark, and Argentina each have one. Yeah. So for this one. The Asian, the AFC Asian um, representatives are Japan. And that's they won the uh, Asian Cup in 2011, so they get to represent Japan or Asia. The African, uh, rep yeah, the people, the the nation representing Africa has not yet been decided. The African Nations Cup is still to be played in in 2013, so. We don't know who they are yet. Wefa, I don't know. Wait, Wefa, I don't know how you guys pronounce it. Wefa in Spanish, I don't know. Um, that is taken from the Euro Cup, the winners. But in this case, it was Spain, who's automatically qualified anyways for being a World Cup champion. So Italy gets put in, even though they didn't win the cup. So Italy is the representative for Wefa. Concacaf, which is the Central, uh, North, and Caribbean. North, Central, American, Caribbean. Uh, the representatives are the winners of the Gold Cup, which were Mexico. Uh, OFC, uh, which is Australia, New Zealand, all those. Although Australia is now Asian. Yeah. Uh, the representative, surprisingly, Tahiti. I was not aware of this until recently. I'd never seen Tahiti play. It'll be interesting. I'm I, I'm sure they won't do much. I mean, the only other nations from that area to have ever been in the center stage have been New Zealand and Australia. And Australia is now Asian. So, New Zealand, surprisingly, not represented uh, OFC. But we'll see what Tahiti can do. Uh, Comebol, which is South America, uh, year away for winning the America's Cup. And then, of course, World Cup champion Spain and host country Brazil. So, they recently, uh, December 1st, I woke up to the groups having been drawn the night before. I think it's 30th of November. And <laughs> Group A is going to be really cool. This is a long video, but Group A is going to be really cool. It has Brazil, Japan, Mexico, and Italy. Very interesting. For one, 
Brazil, people are going to say, oh, Brazil is the favorite. And I have to say, it's a toss-up. Anyone, even, even Japan and Mexico, any one of those could win it, honestly. Brazil is Brazil. Jugo bonito, you know? Japan has a lot to prove that they can step up. They can be up there with everyone. You know, the Samurai Blue, Napon. They, they, can, they can be global powerhouses. Mexico is being said to be a growing global powerhouse. They, ha they are U17 champions. Uh, so, uh, second place U20. Yeah. Um, what is it? Olympic gold medalists. Gold Cup champions, they they represent very well in every, you know, they have a very good team now, possibly one of the best. We have a lot, they have a lot of people in Europe, Chicharito, Hernandez, and Manchester. Yeah, everyone's yeah, he's a big idol there right now. Um, Italy, of course, surprise for me. Italy was a very very surprising uh, that they made it to the. To the Euro Cup final, I expected uh, Germany to step up and even win it, but yeah. Uh, so for me, the the group starts up starts off with Brazil, Japan. Brazil's got home field advantage. Brazil's gonna win that, um, and then Mexico and Italy. It's gonna be a good match. Uh, I'm not sure how many times they've played, but I, I know for a fact one of the most memorable ones was in World Cup of 02, where they tied 1-1. So, I if Mexico can step it up, I believe Mexico can win it. I'm not going to go and uh, give my predictions for every single game, but for the at least for the first game, for each one of their first game, that's my prediction. Brazil and Mexico win. And then Group B, I think they just, it's Spain, Uruguay, Tahiti, and then whichever African nation ends up uh, being a representative. And to me, Spain's going to win that regardless of who comes up. Uruguay for me has gone down from the powerhouse that we saw at the World Cup and then following to the uh, America, America's Cup that they won. Um, they... They've just gone down. I don't know what to tell you. The African nation is going to be very interesting because Ivory Coast is very good, very fast, very strong, man. They can they could easily take out Tahiti. Tahiti's not going to be an issue for anyone. Tahiti will they probably will not win any games. But the African nation, in my opinion, if it is a good a good African nation, it can be Egypt, which surprised me. I think it was in the 06 World Cup. They were very good. Egypt and uh, Ivory Coast, maybe even Cameroon, and Ghana. Ghana. They, I think any one of those could be Uruguay. Uruguay. So, for the first match, Spain beats Uruguay, and the African nation will beat Tahiti. I, just any nation will do it. South Africa, I forgot him, them. They can do it. Yeah, I was uh, cheating a little. I was on FIFA.com. I don't know if you guys, but uh, just for references. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Predictions. I mean, I not to brag. I'm pretty good at predicting. I for the World Cup 2010, I got first, second, and third correct. I get a little overexcited with Mexico and I put them fourth instead of your way, but. Hey, they could have done it. They were in the right path in the right group. They could have just didn't. Um, but I do have a lot of faith in them now. So, yeah. Comment, subscribe, like, share. Whatever you guys want to do. And I'll see you guys in five days. And next time, I talk about 